To shine like a star athlete, you need to make sure you're giving your body the fuel it needs to perform at its best. Here to help us with some common myths about weight and gut health is Rick Harrison, a registered dietitian with Virginia Mason Franciscan Health. Hello. Hello, good to meet you. Yes, to be you here. too. I'm really excited about this segment because I feel like we get bombarded with so much misinformation sometimes on social media. So what do you want to talk about with the common myths about nutrition and what you want to address today? Yeah, so right the Today in social media, it's so prevalent. There are so many influencers saying things that, and it's hard to delineate what's real, what's not, what's evidence-based, and what's just kind of hearsay. Um, so right, some of the, some of the um, ones that are really common today, first and foremost, is carbs. Uh, so many yes. people will say, all carbs are bad. You need to cut those out of your diet, when in fact, carbs are a main source of energy. Um, certain things like protein. There are people who are, say, bodybuilders or athletes who are saying you need up to two grams per pound of weight, right? Um, uh, right? And so, and, and and that's just that's a lot. That's more than what we need. And so, there are a lot of things just kind of floating around that fats are bad. Yes, there are good and there are quote unquote bad fats, but. It's not, it's not all black and white like that. It is, and I feel like you get so much information sometimes, at least I get overwhelmed, and then I'm like, I'm not gonna do anything, I'm just gonna keep mm -hmm. eating the right. way that I'm doing. <laughs> but I wanted to go to your first point, a big myth about all carbs are bad. Mm -hmm. So start there, that's not necessarily true. If you wanna lose weight, can you still have some carbs? 100%, not, not, not even can you have carbs, <laughs> you should have carbs. Oh, okay, I like this. <laughs> what are some here that, you think are healthier carbs, are there any on the table that you think we should focus on? Yeah, so right, we have our carbs here. Um, and right, and when we, when we talk about healthy carbs versus unhealthy carbs, and quite honestly, dietitians, we don't even like to use the word healthy because that makes, you know, healthy means good, unhealthy means bad. And we don't like to use those words because we don't like to demonize any food mm -hmm. because all foods fit into a healthy diet. And so things like this, when we're talking about healthy carbs, we're looking at things like fiber. Right, so do, do they have these nutrients that are going to help our digestion, that are going to build up our, our gut microbiome? Um, so right, so here, so we're looking at fiber. Things, th things like whole grains are going to have fiber. Um, so that's things like brown rice here. Things like um, chickpea pasta yes. are going to have a lot of fiber. Beans are going to have a lot of fiber. And then you have things like the white rice here, um, and then pasta, white pasta, refined pasta, and those, right, they have the fiber stripped from them. Texturally, maybe they're a little bit better, preferred by some people, mm -hmm. um, but they're not going to have that fiber which is going to feed our gut microbiome, give us some, some, some satiety, give us those feelings of fullness. So when we're looking at healthy carbs, we're looking at those things that have additional fiber that haven't been so refined keep you full longer. And another myth, no fat if you want to lose weight. But again, this might be a big myth, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, right. And so uh, again, just like the carbohydrates, we have good and we have bad, quote unquote, bad again. And so bad fats, they're going to be those saturated fats. And oftentimes they come from animal products. And so that's mm. going to be things like butter, cheese, Donuts, donuts are going to, right? They're great. <laughs> and again, they fit into a healthy diet. It's just everything in moderation. Yes. Right? And so these saturated fats are going to affect our um, cardiovascular health, right? Um, and then we have our healthy fats, again, quote unquote, healthy fats. They're going to be unsaturated and polyunsaturated fats. And so um, that's going to be found in more plant based things. So things like olive oil avocados, mm, yes. um, nuts. Okay. But then you also have some things like salmon, which again is an animal product. Earlier I said animal products oftentimes have saturate, saturated fats, the bad fats. But things like salmon have omega-3s, which are considered a good fat. And these good fats are going to help lower the bad cholesterol, the LDL cholesterols, while raising the good cholesterol, the HDL cholesterol. This is so informative, I'm loving this. And this is something I didn't really know the difference between probiotics and prebiotics. Can you explain why those are, the importance of that for our health? Yeah, so probiotics and prebiotics, earlier I had mentioned the gut microbiome. Mm -hmm. And so it's all of these organisms, right, bacteria that live in our gut. And they're going to be important just because there's this connection between our gut and our brain. And so prebiotics are going to be these fiber-containing things. We mentioned earlier that grains have fiber in them. They're going to feed that gut bacteria. 
and they're right, it's going to flourish. It's going to be a good thing. We yes. want that gut bacteria. There's also fiber in things like vegetables and fruits, oh, yes. right? Oftentimes you hear people say things like, oh, fruit is bad. There's so much sugar in, in, in it. Well, again, yes, that's true, but there's also going to be a lot of fiber in these, which is going to go ahead, again, feed that gut microbiome, and that's what we want. That's, that's a good thing. And that's so, going to be different than, <clears throat> obviously, eating a donut with sugar. Like, that sugar and fruit is obviously exactly. giving you different benefits. Exactly right. Okay. Sugar, sugar, <laughs> but this is sugar plus fiber. Right. Right, so prebiotics, fiber. Okay. Probiotics, on the other hand, are going to be these things that have um, this good bacteria already in it. And so that's going to come from things like fermented foods. And so if you think fermented foods, think things like kimchi, kimchi okay. things like yogurt have good bacteria in it. Things like kombucha Love have it. good bacteria in it. Um, kefir, these little guys up here. All of these things already have those good, good uh, microbes in them. And so when we eat them, right, then they make it to our gut and then they flourish. And so we can Step one, have probiotics, get the good microbes in there. Step two, have prebiotics to feed them. They ferment, the, the, they ferment fiber in our gut, and then again, they flourish. Wow, this is so informative. I cannot thank you enough. I feel like I have more information now to make a more educated decision. So thank you, thank you for being here. And to learn more about Virginia Mason Franciscan Health's Comprehensive Center for Weight Management, visit the website right there on your screen, vmfh.org slash weight management. This special presentation of New Day Northwest, sponsored by Virginia Mason Franciscan Health.